Oh, I literally just went straight onto my rose. What the fuck? Finish rinsing out the bleach. It is orange and it is yellow. Oh boy. I beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna take it one second before we like actually start watching the videos to say that I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I feel like I don't say that enough. I feel like I do a horrible job at connecting because it's been so many years of doing this. I wanna like read comments and I wanna go through all of them and talk to all of you, but like sometimes the comments get out of hand. I don't wanna see everything, but know that I see all the good stuff and I try to comment back on as much comments as I possibly can. And I'm grateful for every single one of you that watches this video is because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. If I could hug each and every one of you, I would. If I could do all of your hair, I would. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Let's keep hairdresser reacting, huh? And you stay beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's my new hair product it's called Super Gloss Ultra First Defense Spray. Cool. It's so weird that it's right next to me. That's so crazy. And it's missing a cap because I broke the cap right before I started filming. And guess who only has one, <laughs> one single unit of their own hair product? You know, it's hard out here getting your own hair products. Also, I swear, I got, I gotta start ordering from my own website. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to the natural hair color. So I went to Sally's and I picked up everything that I was gonna need. We love Sally. Guess who you can get at Sally? X Mondo Color. And maybe you might at some point be able to get other X Mondo stuff at Sally Beauty. But I don't know. Do I look like the founder of the brand? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? If you've been here before, you'll know that I'm not one to follow directions. I generally just skip over anything that I don't feel like doing. But I've bleached my hair before and I skipped over some steps and it always just kind of turns out funky. But I want this to turn out all right because I'm not planning on covering it up with a different color, at least for a couple weeks. Well, based on what you say your track record is, I just feel like maybe, maybe you shouldn't do this. You know what I mean? Maybe you should just stop and maybe just not. Bleaching your hair is one of the most difficult things to do at home yourself. I think we all know this. Bleach is a scary thing if you just have no idea what you're doing. It takes a lot of experience and a lot of know-how in order to do a good bleach job of any sort. I do not know what she's trying to do to her hair yet, so we're gonna find out together, hopefully right now. I don't know if she's trying to do highlights or the entire thing blonde. I'm not really sure. So I've got my hair sectioned off. I'm thinking I'm gonna do these front pieces, that way you can see those. And then I've got this mirror behind me, that way I can turn around and do the back and still be able to see what's going on. So I've got this Ion 30 developer and then I've got this Ion bright white cream lightener. Okay, so she is going with a 30 volume and cream developer mixture. Cream developer tends to be stronger. I don't know if it's always stronger than powder lightener, but I'm pretty sure it is. I, it usually is more levels of lift than powder. I don't use cream lightener because the s hates me. Every time I use it, it just goes crazy. I don't know what I do wrong every single time, but it hates me. But her, maybe it'll work for her. I like to stick to the shit that I know and the good and the true. 30 volume is a great developer for her. I mean, her hair is very dark, very red as well, but she does have fine hair. So usually fine hair like this tends to lighten quite nicely and quite easily, but I don't know. The red is a little scary and a little tricky because we're gonna have to do some color theory to balance out that red with some green, probably at the end so that it doesn't look red anymore or orange, probably gonna be left yellow. I mean, a lot of sh could happen, to be honest with you. This is scary. It's a pretty general knowledge that I should leave my roots for last, which I really don't wanna do. Has that become general knowledge? I feel like it has. And I f did that. I don't give a sh I'm the one who did that. I've accomplished so many things in my life. So many great, awesome things. I'm really proud of, right? But the one thing that's at the top of that list that I accomplished <laughs> was teaching people to not bleach their roots first in a virgin color application. What more good can I do to this world? I feel like I have given everything and more. So go me. Sometimes you just gotta root yourself on, you know? Just pat yourself on the good old back of I wasn't trying to follow the rules and I was just trying to lighten my hair, period, regardless of what happens. Then I would simply slap it all over my head. But I kind of would prefer that this turns out okay. So I'm not gonna do that as much as I really, really want to. This is gonna be hard, isn't it? You're right. No, it is going to be very very difficult. This is going to be one of the most difficult things you've ever done in your entire life. In your entire existence, this is going to be top 10, top five, top three most difficult things you can do. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Like this is going to be tough for you. This is you're going to go through trials and tribulations. You're going to be doing this for hours and you're going to be exhausted by the end of it. So <laughs> she hasn't even started coloring her hair yet. And I have been talking for at least 15 minutes and I'm so sorry about that. Oh, I literally just went straight onto my rose. Okay. I'm doing it and it's too late. I'm already starting to feel chaos. What the fuck? What the actual fuckery? What the fuckery fuck? 
freaking 10. How did you just say? I feel like it's common knowledge that you should start with your mids and ends and then go up to your root. And then she goes on her root and then she goes, well, I did one single piece on my root. So now I'm just gonna do the whole thing like this. What? Where's the logic right there? How did that even happen? Let's see how it goes. You're gonna get hot roots, but fuck. I mean, whatever. I know that whenever I put this on my roots, the answer wasn't to just give up. That wasn't the way I should have gone about it. I should have just started doing it the right way on the rest of the hair. You know, guys, sometimes there's a time where you should just listen to yourself, you know? She said, no, uh, no, I, I know this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> That's a fucking leg slapper. Oh, I forgot to educate while I'm talking today. We need four quadrants. Also recommend starting in the back of your head, working the way up, but I'll take side and work the way up. That's fine too. On the bright side of this potentially going wrong, which I mean, I think we're on a good path to assume that will, it's not gonna kill me for it to be bad. You guys know why we don't apply to the root first. If you know, comment below before I actually say it. I just wanna see how many of you know. Five, four, three, two, one. Because the heat from the scalp processes the light in there faster. So you end up with hot roots. Also, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If me messing with my own hair bothers you, that's on you. That's your problem. I am simply here to have fun. Yeah, I would prefer that it look good, but my main priority is that I have a good time. No, no, and I get that. No, and I'm fully supportive of that. Like, I love when people f their hair. Like, that's what hair is for, right? And trust me, I know that that's crazy coming from me. If you've known me for a long time, like, you know that I used to always be like, ah! Oh my god, don't do it yourself. No, I actually really like when people do it themselves. I think it's fun. I think it's always a good time to watch. We get a lot of laughs off of it. Plus, <laughs> it's just more fun to do it yourself a lot of the time. If you're okay with f***ing up your hair, go for it. I will always prioritize what's fun for me <laughs> over what's good for me. <laughs> and that makes so much sense. The way that quote should be listed in history books, I will always prioritize what's fun for me over what's good for me. Oh, the way she hit with that. I should be working so much faster, but like, I think this is as fast as I can go. I don't know if I can go any faster. That is such a great point. When you're doing anything with lightener, you gotta go fast, you guys. The moment it touches your head, it starts developing, starts working. If you take a super long time, you're gonna have one side that's blonde, one side that's yellow, another side that's orange, another side that's red by the time you wash it off. Also, rinsing out by section will help this problem. So if you start in the front right section, rinse out the front right section first and so on and so forth. I hope those hair reaction people never come across any of my videos. I would get obliterated. Hi. Yeah, my roots are <laughs> lifting so fast. Whoops. For the most part though, it's like pretty well covered. So that's nice being thorough. So with fine hair like hers, I would definitely suggest combing this lightener through section by section as she works through her head. That way you know every single strand of hair is lightened. It shouldn't be too difficult to comb through if you start from the bottom, but also don't pull on your hair too much because the integrity of your hair will be compromised by the lightener being on it. But I can't deny that it's a really good way to get that lightener all through the head if you comb it through. Now I need to turn around and do the back. I was having trouble doing the front. The back's gonna be a real roller coaster. Perhaps I should simply not section. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Wow, I really can't see. Stop it. Get some help. If you're gonna do it like this, if you are just going to go ahead and not do the roots last, use a comb. Comb it all through the back of your head. You can feel where a comb is, right? It'll be all perfectly fine. <laughs> you're gonna miss a lot of sections doing it like this. I know you are. I have zero hope at this point. We're a little screwed. I'm being silent because there's a relatively strong itch that has been developing for a while now. I'm just trying not to focus on the itch. My entire house is covered in bleach now. And she is blonde. She is getting real f blonde. Luckily, because she has fine hair, if she pushes her hair down really hard onto her scalp, the heat from her scalp might affect all of her head and we might have an even color. However, she needs to put a bag on her head, not over her face, but on her head. I like to always clarify that because I'm not sure if somebody's gonna accidentally put it over their head and they're gonna, they're gonna suffocate and then they're gonna die. Best case scenario, it turns out surprisingly even. My hair doesn't fall out and uh, there's minimal damage. The most realistic scenario is that it's extremely uneven, but that it's not completely killed. The the worst case scenario is that it is horribly uneven and falling out. I think it's 
mm, in between the first and second options it could be okay but probably not if it starts falling out i'll cut it that's okay <laughs> i love you guys just plan out like if all my hair falls off i'll just go bald that's an option it lifted better than i thought it would oh ho, ho, ho. what did you think was gonna happen because this is probably nearly worst case scenario it is so yellow and orange. Oh no, oh no, no, no. We could have lifted this to a perfect pale blonde in one go with some foils, with some nice sectioning, horizontally sectioned in four quadrants, all that good stuff. But no, we ended up just flopping the bleach on our head and seeing what happens. And this is what happened. Is it the worst thing ever? No, is it fixable? I think so, but we'll see if she can successfully fix it. So now I need to tone it. We aren't bleaching it again. We need to bleach it again. I'm gonna go in with the Wella T4 Luckily, T14 is very blue, I believe. What's opposite of the color wheel? A blue orange. The lady also convinced me to buy this additive, and then she said to mix in a cap or two of this. I believe that's straight blue pigment that she's putting in, uh, which is really scary. It's really orange, but it's teetering on yellow orange, so it might turn a little blue. And I don't want it to turn blue, fuck, oh no! Oh, it's probably gonna turn blue. Oh, you can see it developing already so dark and it's only been a few minutes. Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, I forgot to do my roots last. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> How is that the second time you've done that? Are you fucking with me? What's going on? Is it not staining my skin? Or am I just like so pale that you can't really tell that it's staining my skin? Oh, it's gray. It's a little bit yellowy green. Just a little. My roots are a little weird. You're not seeing those for the most part. It's okay. I like it. Is it the worst thing ever? No, you look beautiful. But I will say you're right. It is green and it is gray. And the spots that are gray are your roots because they're overprocessed because of your hot roots. And the pieces that are green are green because they were yellow. And yellow and blue toner make green. And we cannot put a blue toner on our hair if it is any type of yellow. Blue toners only go over orange. And this is what happens when you don't lighten your hair enough and you use the wrong toner. Next time just lighten your hair more and use a toner for lighter hair you will get a better result this is very fixable though luckily you know uh but like oh well eh. you know by the way if you haven't already checked out my brand new ultra frizz defense spray it does exactly what it says it does it is ultra defensive against frizz i mean this sh will keep your hair frizz free in any climate plus so 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 shiny unbelievably glossy so soft not even kidding okay i know i made the product and i know i need to sell product but like guys trust me when i tell you this is a miracle product it is now my favorite product and it is so easy to use spray it on the head blow dry flat iron or use any kind of hot tool hot tools are required when using this product it is a magical little thing it is now available and you know where to find it and yours will come with a cap but i s literally smashed this product on the ground today that's all we got yours won't come smashed <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna mix the bleach with the 30 volume developer. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just following what I've learned from random YouTube videos I've watched. This may turn out very badly. The lack of y'all believing in yourself before even starting the project makes me nervous every time. Believe in yourself, because who the fuck else is going to you know she obviously has very dark asian hair asian hair is notorious for being hard to lighten because it is coarse it's thick she's going with 30 volume and powder lightener which i think is a great idea she's gonna knock it out of the park i'm kidding she's probably not going to i'm gonna root for her i don't even remember how i got these but these are giant paintbrushes did she just whip out some literal paintbrushes this an inch wide. I just feel like that's not gonna work. That's gonna take you so long to use those paint brushes. Now, where's the real brushes? I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Girl, you're gonna need to mix about 25 to 30 more bowls of that if you wanna cover your whole head. I mean, that is no lightener. Woo, we need a lot more than that. Okay, this looks pretty good. So I have mixed this up. Oh my God, you guys, look at this giant paintbrush. I feel like it's a good consistency. It's not too liquidy, not too thick. Kinda looks like cake mix. Now she has the potential to really wreck her hair because if she leaves any spots of darkness in there, it is going to be so hard to correct just those spots. I'm telling you guys, it is difficult. I've had a couple of girls come to me in the past with some just absolutely tragically done at home bleach jobs with spots everywhere. It takes days to make everything even and perfect looking. I mean, days. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the back. I don't know how thick the sections are supposed 
Music to my ears. We're starting from the back. But she doesn't know how thick her sections should be. And they should be as thin as humanly possible, just like my body. Now, I'm low-key just trying to gain weight here, but eating is hard sometimes, you know? Gotta really, like, get that f And I'm like, ah, I just wanna eat what I wanna eat. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the front. Okay, so we're gonna start from the front now. F Sorry. Just gotta let it out sometimes, you know? You just gotta get that anger out. What the fuck? You were doing it correctly. Now we're starting from the front. Start from the back, work your way up. Horizontal sections, thin as possible. Boom, boom, bang, bang, boom. I'm kind of scared to start now because I know once I start, I have to move really fast. Otherwise the bleach is gonna be super spotty. And my hair's gonna turn out lighter on one side. She is so right. Your roots do process faster from the heat from your scalp. And I feel like we all know that today because we've already went over it a couple times. And uh, that section is so goddamn big. Let's take that one section and make it into 10. All right, that's how thin we want this this is way too big concerning and scary i will say actually i'm gonna go ahead and start from the front i'm kind of scared to start now because i know once i start i have to move really fast otherwise the bleach is going to be super spotty and my hair is going to turn out lighter on one side i wish i cut the pieces of the foil longer because yeah Oh, well. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is way too much hair left out at the root. We just want an inch left out, all right? Just an inch, no more, no less. This is too, too much. Am I folding it correctly? Probably not. Another thing with folding is make sure you don't crumple it up or else you'll get spotting in your hair. There is going to be so many dark spots in her head because of the fact that she is taking these big, big sections. You should be able to see through each layer that you're bleaching when you bleach it. Like you shouldn't do any more hair than that for a virgin color application like this. This is really hard to balance. Don't know how people do this. We've already run out of bleach, you guys. We did like an ombre. I don't know. I thought she was just leaving her roots out, but now we end up doing an ombre for some reason. I don't know how we got here, you guys. Don't ask me. My hair is super heavy. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but you can see that it's getting a lot lighter. It's been about 30-ish minutes. I did check in at 540 just to make sure that everything was working and my hair was lightening, which it definitely was. For her hair, 35 minutes is not long enough. An hour is probably gonna be great for her. Oh no. Looks like we're gonna have to bleach a second session. I think the problem definitely is that my sections were way too big. I'm questioning my life decisions right now. Me too, girl. It's kind of scary that my hair is like so crazy looking now, but on the positive, my hair doesn't feel super fried. It's not super damaged. <laughs> So dark. Guys, if you want your hair to be really bright blonde, do not rinse off the lightener until your hair is really light blonde. You know what I mean? Logically, I feel like that makes sense to me. I feel like it should hopefully make sense to you. I'm gonna do what I originally was intending to do, which is go ahead and bleach the roots. After the roots are bleached and my hair is all the same color, then we are gonna go back and fix any strands that I missed the first time. Okay, now we're doing the roots with the mids, which is not a good idea because she's gonna get hot roots. And hopefully we bleach the ends again. Her hair is still wet, I think. I have no clue at this point what's happening. <laughs> Don't bleach your hair wet unless you're doing a bleach bath, which involves shampoo. At least she's trying to be thorough with it. Trying is the, is the key word there. Not necessarily succeeding, but trying. And we have a lot of bleach on the head. That is one thing she did right. She used a lot of lightener and I love to see it. More the merrier when it comes to a dull process. Get that lightener packed. On there. It looks super light right now, but it's actually because the bleach is still in there. So after I wash off the bleach, it'll probably be a little bit darker. Rinsing it off in the sink because I can't be bothered to take multiple showers just to wash my hair. Yeah, she made a good point. Like doing, taking multiple showers or washing your hair multiple times. It is very necessary to wash your hair two or three times when you're doing a double process. It is not easy to get all the lightener out. And if you do not get it all out, it will affect your toner and the way your toner develops if there is a little bit of that powder liner left on your scalp or in your mid sections. So don't do it. Rinse it all out thoroughly. It'll also make your hair feel gritty and dry when it probably isn't gritty and dry. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's actually singed and falling off your head. I just finished rinsing out the bleach. It's a look. It feels so good that I rinsed off the bleach. Like by the end, my scalp was super hot. It is orange and it is yellow. Oh. 
boy. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the color. I'm gonna start mixing the light charcoal with the 20 volume developer from Sally's. Oh, okay, so she's going dark gray. In order to have a really nice dark gray, you're gonna wanna have nice pale white color underneath it. If you have orange, it will work, but it'll give you kind of a greenish gray blue tone at the end and it just doesn't never, never looks right to me and to a trained eye. To you, it might look fine. But with 20 volume, um, it is going to effectively lighten her hair while the developer processes. So she is still gonna get some more lightening. So maybe that might help the situation, but still it's gonna be an issue nonetheless. Okay, she is working from the mids and ends up to her root, which is a good idea. Oh, it's getting dark. Ooh. Now that my hair is a little bit more dry, I can kind of tell what the color is gonna look like. It looks pretty even. It kind of has like that natural highlight sort of look though, like where the pieces on the top layers are a little bit lighter. It might also just be the lighting in the bathroom, but I think it is like a little bit yellow in some areas. My scalp is like light pink now. From all that bleaching and stuff, it's just super sensitive. I might go back in with another layer of color to clear up the yellowy pieces. <laughs> is her hair almost black or is it just me? I am lost. It was definitely more of a dark blonde at first. Um, last night when I finished the color, but personally I just wanted something a little bit darker So today I just colored it one more time and this is the finished result I'm really happy because my hair still feels very soft and smooth and I think it mainly was because I used the ion treatments That is pretty much it for this video. I really hope it was somewhat entertaining for you guys I'm glad I didn't completely mess up my hair. Okay. Whoa, that last few minutes uh, really threw a curveball and things. Uh, I didn't realize she was trying to go so dark. I think it's giving K-pop idol really cute, uh, but whoa, what? Obviously to a trained eye, like it doesn't look even and there's definitely like some yellows in there and things are going a little crazy in between. There's a lot going on, but I still think it looks fire on her. Like you kind of slayed that. You kind of looks really fire. Good and I love the color. That toner is gonna fade out very fast though and you're gonna have to keep up with that a lot. But when your root grows in, it's gonna look really pretty. So that's good. I will be starting the process back to blonde hair. Here are a few pictures of me with blonde hair that I had about six months ago, not too long ago, honestly. Okay, so she was blonde six months ago. That means she's color over her existing blonde hair. So it's gonna be a little tricky, not over processing, not over lightening to the point where the blonde underneath the brown snaps off, but just enough to uncover the existing blonde underneath the brown hair. However, she said it's been six months. So she has about six months of regrowth, which is about three inches or so. So it's gonna be a lot and it's gonna be very interesting and very juicy. I think the first step is to remove as much color as I possibly can from my hair. After coloring it black for the first time, I've only touched it up with black box dye. She did it with black box dye. Oh, goodness gracious. We're going in with color remover though, which is a great idea to get all that really dark, deep pigment out of her hair. So I'm done sectioning my hair. I'm gonna leave one out because I have to start with a section. So I'm gonna get these ready and um, we'll get started. Everybody always seems to do this random sectioning, but it, they all do it the same. It's always like two kind of saggy buns on the side, some kind of bun in the back, but most of it's just like in this really curvy section. And then there's a huge chunk that they start with. I don't know why, but this is always what happens. Okay, so she's working on removing the color, which I think is a fantastic idea. I think I already said that, but um, yeah. So, and she's working from the bottom up, not touching her roots, which is a great idea because most box eyes will tend to lighten your roots. Just make sure you read the back of the box and see if it lifts natural pigments along with artificial because some of them do and it's not fun. Okay guys, so I just showered. I do not think the camera is picking up how much black it took out. No, it is. And it looks really nice. Like it is like a chocolate brown now instead of a very deep black. And I actually think you should just stop here because this looks nice. Let's not push it. This is how my hair looks when it's dry. Once again, I feel like the camera is not picking up how light it got, but my hair feels the same. When it was wet, I felt like it wasn't even. I feel like there was a lot of, you know, spots where it was darker. Granted, around my roots, it is darker. And I was going to go in with a second round, but I decided not to because I know that my root area is going to bleach faster. It looks so pretty like this. We're going to push it past this? No, let's just stop here. I got a 30 volume developer, a bunch of it, and the Wella lightning powder. 30 volume powder. Good idea. I made a lot because I'd rather have leftover than, you know, be in the middle of doing it and not have enough. That is a whole lot of bleach. Let's make sure we mix up bleach as we go. Do not mix all at once. When it's exposed to the air, it loses power slowly. So you want to mix up fresh lightener every single time you do a new section to ensure that your hair develops to the same extent all around your head. Bruh! 
All right, we are taking massive sections. We are putting it in the foils and we are wrapping the hair with a brush in the foil. And that lightener is not going to penetrate through all that hair. It is going to be a complete disaster and it's me really fucking body. Ah, uh, uh. So that sucks. Next time, if you're gonna do foil, thin sections, very long foils. The length of your hair would be great and get that brush all in there on that very fine piece of hair. Lay another foil the same length on top of it and move on. We don't need to fold it. We don't do anything fancy. Just lay the foils. Okay guys, so I just finished the hair. At least you didn't touch the root. I'll take it. I took my time and coated every single piece and as you can see, we're really scrunching those foils, huh guys? This is where it always goes downhill. I mean, along with everything else. But people will do the ends and mids first, and then they try to go in and do the roots, but the hair is already in these clumpy sections, so then they don't end up actually dividing the sections into fine pieces horizontally, and then we end up not getting all the roots done, and it just becomes an absolute tragic mess. Okay guys, I have everything on now. So I honestly feel like my hair is super blonde. We will see once I wash it out, but I don't wanna to speak too soon, so I'm gonna and give this another 15 to 20 minutes so that my roots can turn blonde. I can tell it's not light enough. Just just by this view right here. If it has any tinge of yellow while that lightener is still on, it is not done. It should look white. I just rinsed out my hair and I do have hot roots. Kind of expected that because I forgot my timing was a little off. So a lot of my hair is still orange. I'm going to go in with the second bleach. Oh, it is orange, 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 orange. Orange A. And I'm glad she's going in with the second round of bleach. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. Basically 90% dry. It's still a little bit damp in some areas. Oh, it's looking dry too. Oh, I'm scared. I'm kind of over this. So I hope that this is the last round before I put on this toner. Oh my gosh, she did all of that all over again. This must have taken hours. Hey guys, so I have the toner in my hair. I don't know how this is gonna turn out to be completely honest. <laughs> None of us do. Here is the final result. So my hair is definitely damaged a little bit, I will say, but it's not like to the point where it's terrible. Obviously with bleach, you do damage your hair a little bit, but I expected way worse. Um, I do know I have like a little bit of like a strawberry effect to it, if you will, but uh, I don't mind and if need be I can touch it up with a toner like I said I don't think my hair is so damaged damaged where it's beyond repair it's definitely still in a good state it's this weird kind of yellowy blonde color that I'm not a huge fan of it's like silver yellow when people have this result it's always because they put teatine over hair that is extremely yellow and I can just always tell you know whatever but I am shocked guys her hair was black as my shirt and she got it to this light of a color pretty impressive and with another round of a nicely applied lightener, she will get a nice blonde color. And I'm honestly impressed with how not splotchy it is. Like, what? How? Decent job. Well, obviously, you know, super gloss is available. Make sure you check out all my hair care products and my hair color line at xmodohair.com. That's all, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.